Obviously, it's a big day in stocks, and many eyeballs, rightly so, are aimed in that direction. But there's another hot marketplace today, and it is the long maturities. It's actually all maturities. Interest rates are moving up. But I like to concentrate this one in particular on the long end. Why? Well, think about a whip, okay? What part of the whip moves more? The part closest to my hand or the part at the end? Of course, the part on the end. Remember when we used to ice skate when we were kids? We'd all grab a rope and we'd swing around. The person that had the most fun was the person on the farthest end of the rope. That's where all the gamma is. That's where all the action is. And to that end, you know, calling a reversal in rates after the August we had is really a long shot, and long is the word of the day. Let's go to the whiteboard, okay? Now, I included some other maturities, but just to give you an idea, yesterday's close in the two-year was 143. Guess what the cycle low is? 143. Where is it now? 155, a big jump. 10-year note yields, 147 close yesterday, 146 cycle low on the third. Where are they now? 158. These are big moves. But now let's look at the 30-year, the long end. Right now it's at 207. Its low is 195, and 207 is almost up to 209. We'll get to that in a minute. And the 30-year boon, which really got me on this topic, has had a huge day. As a matter of fact, right now, it's slightly positive. It hasn't been positive in a month, and today's the first day it sort of rocketed there. And rockets the word. Yesterday it closed at minus 15 basis points. This is a big move for 30-year boons, and its low was minus 27 not that long ago, the 15th, mid-August. All right, let's go to the board. Now, the longest maturities are key in my opinion, and we've done this many times. 10-year note yields in 2012 and 2016 in July, basically at a double bottom right around 137. It is literally a game of chicken between 10s and 30s, because if 10s violate this before 30s get back up and above their significant July 16 bottom, at 209, then I think we continue to go down. But we haven't done that. As a matter of fact, the opposite seems to be occurring. Should we close above this 209 before that occurs? I don't care if it's a long shot or not, and it might not be the bottom. And big August have re big reversals coming back the other way, but this is a significant day.